hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing like a book on haul slash bookshelf organisation video. Something like that. Basically I've gotten a lot of books over the last three months because it's got my Christmas books and then a couple of book hauls that I got when I got paid and then also some wonderful people sent me some gorgeous books. I'm going to do a separate book haul video actually showing what I got but this one is just dedicated to me reorganising my bookshelves basically. Uh, I've got quite a few books on my bookshelves as well that I don't really want anymore. I've either read them and I did not like it or um, you know I bought several copies from the charity shop for like a pound so I, I kind of just like I want to clear it out um, and also I just want to reorganise as well because it's been about six months since I did my bookshelves now and I've had I've, I've got quite a lot of books since then so I really want to just go through and reorganise them so yeah I thought why not take you guys along with me so if you do enjoy this video please like comment subscribe all that good stuff you know it really helps um, and I really appreciate it because it makes me feel like I'm doing a good thing <laughs> I actually feel like I'm doing a good job. I will link all of my other social medias down below. If you want to follow me on anything else, that would be amazing. I have TikTok and Instagram. I have my own blog as well where I write reviews. It's fairly new. I've only got a few reviews up there, but I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I will take you down to my bookshelves. We'll take everything off and just start from start from fresh. I also have like a big spreadsheet where I have all my books so I will be adding all of these in as well and I also have an app on my phone called Bookshelf so it's basically just a mobile version of the books that I have in my library but you can also update it with like the books you've read, the rating you gave it. So this is mine. As you can see those are basically all the books that are on my bookshelf so I need to update it on here as well and add in the new books as well as delete the ones I'm unhauling. I think that's everything, I think that's my intro. So yeah, let's just dive right in. I can't wait, I love playing with books. Literally my favorite hobby ever. And then there's reading them, but playing with them, it's, it's way better. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and let's get into it. Okay, so here are my bookshelves. That's what they look like now. And then over here are all the books that I need to put on there. <laughs> Somehow fit on those shelves that are literally so full I had to stack things upwards. Yep, on a side note, look what just came in as I was bringing the books down. Oh, oh my gosh, look at it. It's massive. I'm pretty sure it's like 700 pages, so that's what I'll be doing this weekend. <laughs> I now need to take all of these and put them on the floor somewhere. Uh, on a side note, I also got some like LED lights for like around the edges. I think that'll look really nice. So yeah, I need to put those up as well. Oh, wish me luck. Okay, so I just finished filming the book hauls, so now I can finally put all the books that I got, which are all down there now on the floor. Um, I can put them up on my bookshelves now. So now it's finally time. We're doing it, guys. <laughs> Why am I so nervous about this? There's so many books. It's literally going to take up the entirety of this room. Like, look how many, how much space just my new ones takes. And now I need to take all these down. So yeah, I'm going to use my GoPro for this because it has a really good time lapse feature. So I'm just going to stick my GoPro up like around here and just film the entire thing. But I'll also do little snippets on here. So yeah, here goes nothing. I just wanted to show taking off the first book. Just symbolize the whole it's happening. So I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, it's happening.
Okay, so I've gotten all the books off the shelf and I've put them on the floor. So now I'm gonna go through them and organize them on like priority, you know, right up there at the front and then what I wanna get rid of and unhaul a few. So yeah, I'll just again, GoPro me doing this because it's gonna take a very long time. And yeah, basically just sift through what I wanna keep and what I want to unhaul, so. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to work through, but we'll get there. Okay, all right, let's do it. So I'm just gonna be adding um, these books. This is the books I got for Christmas. I'm gonna be adding them to my online bookshelf now um, before I put them on my real one. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I've just sorted through, and it looks very confusing for, for anyone else, but for me it makes sense. <laughs> so these are like paperbacks that I want, but um, they're not high priority to read. And then the middle row is middle priority, and then these are all like my high priority books. And then I've got all my hardbacks, and then my smaller hardbacks together. Um, and then... Those are still all my new books that I need to sort through, um, but I figured I'd just do that as I'm putting them on the shelves. And then these, I'm so proud of myself. These are all the books I'm getting rid of. I'm unhauling. So I'm not gonna be like throwing them out, obviously I'm gonna be donating them, seeing if my friends or family want them. Um, but they're just books that either I read and didn't like or I'm just not interested in reading them. Uh, not those, I want to keep those. Definitely keeping those, so. Don't mind the cow socks, it's fine. But yeah, those two piles, they're going. I'm knackered. You got a lot of books. Yeah. Okay, this is just a quick update. Um, I am so tired. It's like seven o'clock at night now. I've been doing it for six hours. I've done this. That is literally <laughs> all I have done. Um, yeah. Guys, it's taken me so long. I'm so tired. I've been like filming loads of videos in between and TikToks and on Instagram and things. And then on top of that, I've also been logging in all of the books and scanning them on my phone. And it's just taking so long. So I'm gonna call it quits for the day because I'm tired. Um, and I haven't played any Stardew Valley today and I'm getting the shakes, you know? Like I need, I need to play. And I haven't done any reading at all today. I'm tired. So yeah, I'm gonna call it quits tonight and then I will wrap it up again tomorrow. It shouldn't take too long now because I've filmed everything that I wanna film apart from the ending to this video. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, it's the next morning. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm ready to do it. Um, I have already been working for like an hour and a bit. So I've done this big pile here that was, there was like three piles of books. Um, so these all left down here and those need to still be logged. I'm just gonna quickly show you where I'm at with the shelves. So I don't know what to do with those yet, so I've just left them up there. That shelf is finished, um, almost done. Got my Harry Potter books, Twilight books, all those stuff. This shelf is my favorite. Look at that bad boy. Oh, look at it, it's beautiful. I honestly love it so much. Um, and then I've got this one below, which is I also really, really like. Um, and then I'm working on that one. Uh, yeah, these are still working progresses. <laughs> and then my Sarah Day Mass section. Um, I think I actually might put all of my Cassandra Clare books here because that's like, you know, the big popular books on TikTok. We're getting there, but I love the way that shelf came out. I absolutely love it. So I've just got this pile left um, and then I'm done. Ah! So this is what we got going so far. Um, yeah, I'm struggling with space. <laughs> um, but it'll be fine. 
Um, I'm moving those out because they're all non-fiction books and I don't want them on my shelves. We're getting there. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> so excited to be finished. <sighs> we're getting there. Oh, been a long, long process. <laughs> Good morning guys, uh, so it's been like two days since I last updated. <laughs> um, I have finished putting the books on the bookshelves but I don't want to show you because I've got some other decorations to put on and then also some lights that I want to put on as well. And then once that's all together then I will show you the reveal of the bookshelves but they are looking real nice. I'm really happy with the way they've come out. So. <sighs> yeah, it's been a couple of days. I've been a bit busy with work, so I didn't have a chance to kind of wrap things up. So, as you can see over there, I've got all my like trinkets and stuff that need to go on. I'm gonna put the lights on, and then it should be done. It'll be done, and then I can show you. Okay. Oh, that's my mum and dad's bookshelf, by the way, on the other side of the room. Don't know why, but yeah, mine are just. And it just there near the door. I don't, I'm not gonna show you. But yeah, those are my mum and dad's. I really wanna organize those as well. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish putting on the final touches and then I will show you. And then I wanna go through my shelves with you just because I wanna talk about my books. There's no other reason behind it. So <laughs> yeah, let's get to it. but I have all my bookmarks and I don't know how to, like I'd like to display them on the bookshelf, but I don't know how. I was thinking of like putting them in a nice like jar or a pot or something, but I don't have any and I don't know what to do. I've got so many different bookmarks and I don't know how to display them. So I'm wondering how do, do you guys display your bookmarks? Or do you just have like one, like a normal person? So I have so many. I also have, as well as the bookmarks, I have three um, book sleeves that I don't know I don't know where to put them, whether to just kind of put them on top. I feel like that's kind of rubbish though. But yeah, I've got my little Bumblebee one. I've got the Marauder's Map one, which is this is the first one I ever got and I do love it. And then I got this one in my most recent fairy loot, which is of Circe, it's a quote from Circe. And it even comes with a zip, which is really cool. But yeah, I have these three book sleeves and I don't really know how to display them. <sighs> I'll have to think, but I think for now, I'm just gonna put these in here and then I might just stick them on top. That's a bit rubbish, I know, but I will think of something better at a later date. So all of my like trinkets and candles and things are on now, and it is time to do the lights. Speaking of, where are they? Oh. So I just got some uh, fairy loot, not fairy loot lights, I just got some fairy lights, um, and they're just USB lights. I'm hoping I have enough. It said 10 meters. I feel like I don't have 10 meters worth of bookshelves, but um, I'm useless at measuring things, so I'm sure I've gotten it wrong, and I probably don't have enough, and I'll have to order a second set, but regardless, I'll finish the video today anyway, um, and just show you what it looks like just with this set. Uh, yeah, it's just a USB port, and then it has a little on and off switch, very simple, it's what I like. I like simplicity in my life. Right. <sighs> Let's do it. Okay, so I just put the lights up. Unfortunately, they didn't go around every single shelf, so I'm, I am gonna have to buy a second batch of lights. But that's okay, because it still looks amazing, and I'm so happy with the way it looks. Honestly, it looks incredible. So yeah, I suppose it's just time to do a reveal of what it looks like. 
Are you ready to see it? I'm so proud. I'm like a proud mom. Okay, you ready? Okay. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so I am so happy with the way this has turned out. It was worth all the effort. I'm honestly so happy with it. Um, <laughs> I actually didn't end up fitting all of my books in, so I had to put some up the top there, but I used these old candle holders, the elephants that my mom was getting rid of, and I was like, well, I'll have them and I'll use them as bookends. Like, like of course I'm gonna reuse them. And the lights look incredible. It was just at the bottom those last two shelves that I couldn't get the lights on and then down the middle so yeah I'm gonna get another set of lights but apart from that I am done <laughs> I'm really happy with the way it turned out <sighs> the only issue is like they are at full capacity so I can't <laughs> I've got a box of 10 books coming how I can't fit them on <laughs> I will see you in the next book shelf reorganizing video de-hauling in like a month's time because I can't stop buying books so <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick skim over what I've got and what I've done on my different shelves. Yeah, and I think then the video will be done. Thank God. Okay, so at the top we've got a lot of my standalones. I did try and organise them by colour. You can't really tell because it's terrible. <laughs> and then these I just couldn't fit on my hardback shelves so I kind of just stuck them in there instead of the paperbacks. Um, but again, they're all majority of standalones, or if they are part of a series, I only have one book. So, they're a standalone to me. <laughs> and then over here, again, it's just more standalones. And my colour coordination was a little bit better on this side. My blacks to then blues and light blues. A lot of the black books tend to be horrors and thrillers, <laughs> which just is just how it is. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the way it turned out. At the top I have my Game of Thrones set, which I've read two books of, <laughs> and then I've got the Outlander series because I kind of thought it gave me the same kind of vibe, and then I have the Summoner, the Hush Hush and the Rain Boys, which um, I just couldn't fit on anywhere else, and I thought it looked nice up there. <laughs> Alright, now this shelf is my Vampire Angel shelf, <laughs> my Teen Angst shelf, <laughs> so obviously it has all my Twilight, which don't come at me. I love Twilight, leave me alone. <laughs> um, I have the Fallen series, again I read this when I was like 15 but I recently got these two new ones. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't put them in order so don't come at me. Um, I also have Passion at the end. And then the March series, again I read this when I was like 14, 15 maybe and it just has a very special place in my heart and I cannot for the life of me get rid of them. Even though I probably will not be reading them again <laughs> because I'm far too old for it now. So yeah, that's my Teen Angst Vampire Shelf. Everyone needs one. If you don't have one, you should go get one. Um, I then have, this is just my colourful shelf, essentially. So I have some hardbacks over here, some romance. The Red Rising series that I got recently, but I just really love how the colour all matches with these. Um, and then it's also my non-fiction shelf. So I've got Mythos, Sapiens, um, Atomic Habits, and then just a couple of other non-fiction. And then just some odd books that I couldn't fit anywhere else. I then have my classic shelf, which I absolutely love. I think this is one of my favourite shelves. So I have my Sherlock Holmes, my... Um, I love these. These are illustrated editions of classics. So I've got The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, I have Oliver Twist, and I have Pride and Prejudice. You know what, I'm going to quickly open these because I really like I just think they're gorgeous. So yeah, they're just literally illustrated editions of the book in kind of magazine form um, but yeah they're really thin but I just love it that back on I have my complete fiction of HP Lovecraft which I have never read but it's beautiful Pride and Prejudice obviously my like nine editions of Sherlock Holmes because I have a problem 
Bram Stoker, Dracula, Rebecca, all this good stuff. The Odyssey, which I've yet to read and I'm really looking forward to it. I then have my favourite book of all time, Good Night Mr. Tom by Michelle Magori. And if you have not read this, please do. It is just... Oh, it's heartbreaking, but I love it. Then this is my kind of middle grade <laughs> children's literature almost. I have all of my Harry Potters. Um, I have some Howl's Moving Castle, which I absolutely is my one of my favourite movies of all time. My Percy Jackson set, which I have not read yet still. Um, and then a Percy Jackson box, which I got in a Lumicrate box a while back. And then I have my selection series, which I know is more young adult, but um, it just seems more catered to younger young adult. <laughs> so I thought I'd add it on this shelf. I then have my Sarah J Maas slash Cassandra Clare slash Victoria Aveyard shelf. <laughs> Throwing a glass, Akatar, the new one. Uh, yeah, Red Queen series, and then I have more instruments, Infernal Devices, and then some other novellas from Cassandra Clare. This is my favourite shelf, completely. It is all my beautiful hardbacks, like my big ones, and oh my gosh, I just love it. And then the Caravel series, yep. Yeah, I thought I'd put the King of Elfheim here instead of with the Cruel Prince, just because it's a hardback and it looks really nice here. Oh yeah, I just love it. It's my favourite shelf, hands down. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. These last two bottom shelves, and those those two as well, I imagine, but these two shelves are kind of what you see when I film, so I thought I would put all of my favourite and most popular books on here. This is pretty much my YA fantasy section, apart from there's a few not, like The Song of Achilles, and I have uh, Red, White and Royal Blue, but, oh, and uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but the rest all kind of are fantasy. There's some dystopian, there's some, there's like thrillers, but yeah. I really love this shelf, I think it's beautiful, and I've read like three books on this shelf. <laughs> oh wait, how many have I actually read? Oh my gosh, I've read one book on the shelf. I've read To Kill a Kingdom. <laughs> that is the only book on this shelf that I have read. I haven't read a single other one. No, I literally haven't. Okay, so I know which shelf I need to focus on. <laughs> Uh, I then have this shelf at the bottom, which again, I really love the way it turned out. I have the Cruel Prince trilogy, I have the Mistborn trilogy, and then the Nevernight series. A Curse So Dark and Lonely, that trilogy. Um, Wonderful Beth just bought me a Vow So Bold and Deadly, and oh, it just is so nice to have the matching set. I then have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is the Illumicrate special edition, and it's got black sparkling sprayed edges, and it's just beautiful. I also have that that came with the same box, which is Addy LaRue. Um, yeah, then my Lainey Taylor kind of section. I've got the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, and then the Strange the Dreamer duology, Discovery of Witches trilogy, and then From Blood and Ash and Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, and obviously when the third one comes out, I will put it right here. And then scooching on <laughs> over to this side, I have the Darkest Minds quadrilogy and the Shiver quadrilogy. I bought both of these from the works and they were about five pounds each per series. Um, so yeah, I bought them on a big book haul and I haven't even touched a single one yet. Um, Lantern Zember, I read that one. <laughs> yes, one I've read. And the Shadow and Bone trilogy, I've read that as well. Um, I do have the Divergent trilogy. I've got the other two there though, but they're taller. So I've just kind of tucked them in the corner. Hunger Games and then the new the name of the Wind and The Wise One's Fear. This shelf's kind of like my other big hardbacks and then big paperback books. So I've got the Gem Flockhart series, which is a historical fiction series set in Victorian London about a, a, a girl called Gem Flockhart, but she pretends to be a man in order to be able to work uh, in an apothecary and she solves crime. She's literally a badass female Sherlock Holmes pretty much and it's just it's amazing um, and it has LGTB representation in this series as well which we like to see yeah I put my law book with the spine pointing out because I just thought it was beautiful and then Forest of Souls which my lovely friend Becky got me recently and then the Bone Houses and House of Leaves which I got this recently and oh my gosh I'm so excited to read it it just looks bizarre Honestly bizarre. And apparently it's one of the most atmospheric books there is. Um, and then yeah, just a couple more odds and sods. We'll just pretend you didn't see that one. Uh, I've got the Octonomy, obviously. House of Salt and Sorrows. And then I've got the first two in the Cinder series. But I don't have the others yet. Um, and that is everything. 
that is my entire bookshelf. Oh, oh she fell down. Yeah, that is my entire bookshelf. Done and dusted. I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm really tired. But it's done. I imagine I'll be laying on the floor for quite some time. Just admiring, you know? It's fine. We're fine here. We're having a good time. Okay, so it's all done. I'm so happy with it, honestly. So as soon as I get the second set of lights and just put it like down the middle and down here and the bottom two shelves, it'll be done. And oh, I'm just so, I love it. It was worth, it was honestly worth all the hassle and all the trouble. <laughs> and now I've got like a full list of all of my books as well, which I've been wanting to do for so long. So yep, I'm really happy. It's just a weight off my mind. I've been wanting to do that for literally like two months. So I'm so happy. Though so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what to do. And if you want to see me on any of my other social media platforms, they are linked all down below. Yeah, I think that's everything. I just honestly appreciate you being here so much. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.